For the time he gives us or opportunity no, 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 no. to be able to read his word, no, no, no. which is life. Yeah. But one thing no, no, no. is prophecy. No, no. When prophecy comes, no, 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 no. I want you to pay attention. You have to grow or mature. Because we receive the same prophecy every day. But you don't change. When God speaks, you should try to measure yourself with his word. Try to find out whether God is talking about you or your neighbor. Who is being told to stand up and worship God? If you find yourself still seated, just know that God is speaking to you. And when God speaks, He has intentions. Don't look prideful or be prideful or lack of knowledge or not knowing. I know most of the times people do things without knowing. You do something without knowing that you're doing something wrong. And the one who knows the truth is God. I hear this prophecy every day from here. It means we're not walking according to how God wants us to walk. And that is why he's still speaking. Let us be quick to listen. You know God. He sits in the middle of worship. His throne is in praise. So when they're worshiping God and sing to God, his throne is in the middle. He sits among praise. So when you're just sitting down, you make yourself to be like him. If, when God God does not share his praises with anyone. The praises is his only. We're going to read the word of God. And then I'll bring you life. That's in this word. Amen. With everything you know. If you don't know Christ, you are being, you are being, you're being You may know all of the science. You may know math. But you're still a fool. 
Utaweza jua vitu vyote. You may be knowledgeable in everything. Shuleni, everything that you've been taught at school. Lakini kama hujamjua Yesu. But if you do not know Christ. Mbali mjinga. You're still a fool. Mjua Yesu. Knowing Christ. Mjua is knowledge. Maana science itaishia hapa. Because science will stay here. Medicine itaishia hapa. Medical will stay here. Uloyo itaishia hapa. Being a lawyer will stay here. Lakini huko. But there. Hataishi. There is no end. Atakuwa mpaka milele. He will live his eternal God. Because he lived before you were created. Ataendelea kuwa sisi tutapita. And he will stay alive for the rest of the world. Tutasoma katika kitabu cha Yohana. the book of John. Sura 10, chapter 10. Mstari wa kwanza hadi mpaka 10. Verse 1 to 10. Tunasoma katika jina la Yesu. Yesu akawaambia, Amen. Amen. Nawambieni. Yeye asiyeingia mlangoni katika zizi la kondoo lakini akwea penginepo huyo ni mwivi naye ni mnyangani aingiaye mlangoni ni mchungaji wa kondoo Bawabu mfungulia huyo na kondoo umsikia sauti yake naye huaita kondoo wake kwa majina yao na kuwapeleka nje naye hawatoapo nje kondoo wake wote uwa uwatangulia na wale kondoo umfuata kwa maana waijua sauti yake mgeni awa awata mfuata kabisa bali watamkimbia kwa maana hawazijui sauti za mgeni mizali hiyo Yesu aliwaambia lakini wao hawakuelewa na mambo hayo yaliyo na mambo hayo aliyowaambia basi Yesu aliwaambia tena amini amini nawaambieni mimi ndimi mlango wa kondoo wote walio nitangulia ni wevi na wanyanganyi lakini kondoo hawakuwasikia mimi ndimi mlango mtu akiingia kwa mimi ataokoka ataingia na ataingia na kutoka naye atapata malisho mwivi aje ila aibe na kuchinja na kuharibu mimi nalikucha ili wawe na uzima kisha wawe nao tele amen very truly i tell you Pharisees anyone who does not enter the sheep pen by the gate but climbs in by some other way is a thief and a robber the one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep the gatekeeper opens the gate for him and the sheep listens to his voice he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out when he has brought out all his own he goes on ahead of them and his sheep follow him because they know his voice but they will never follow a stranger in fact they will run away from him because they do not recognize the stranger's voice jesus used this figure of speech But the Pharisees did not understand what he was trying to tell them. Therefore Jesus said again, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep, and who have come before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep have not listened to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. They will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy, I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. Amen. 
Baba katika jina la Yesu tunabariki jina lako na kumbuni kwa kuwa wewe ni Mungu mkubwa wewe ndiye mwanaji uliyetufanya kuwa watu wa mfano wako kwa ajili ya upendo mkubwa na leo tunakusanyika hapa kama mtu mmoja katika roho na mkate ambao ni neno lako na kuomba roho mtakatifu naye kaa kati ya kila mmoja na mmoja wetu tusaidie kwa maneno haya ili tupate kweli kujua kweli na kweli tufikishe katika ufalme wako neno ni lako na sisi ni watu na kuomba ujizilishe kwa muda yote ni kanisa watoto wako wa kujua wa kuangi wa kupenda na wa kutumikia katika roho na katika kweli ili utakaporudia kuchukua kanisa baba utukute tuko tayari tunakuona na kuna kiongozi mmoja kitakufua na kwa jina la Yesu tunaomba amani yako isindikize neno hili ndani ya kila mmoja apate kujijua na kujitambua nafasi yake ndani ya mwili wako ambao ni kanisa kwa jina la Yesu tunaomba hili amen kichwa ya neno yetu our today's theme ni dispensation ni wakati is time ni muda is time or season ambayo Yesu Kristo when Jesus Christ analeta muda mpya brings a new season or a new time sababu kuna kuwa mida because there are times ambazo ziliachana that separated them so we were divided there was a time of creation and then there was Adam and Eve and they were, they were in the garden of Eden that time passed because of their own choice and they were kicked out of there Garden. and they went out of the garden hallelujah amen fanya atansio listen very carefully so you won't be kicked out wakafukuzwa nje ya usima they were kicked out of life wakaenda mbali na usima and they went far from life kwa sababu ya kiburi because of pride kwa sababu ya kutokusikia because of disobedience wakafukuzwa nje ya shamba they were kicked out of the garden wakaenda katika maisha yao pekee and they started their own ya kuchi tegemea sasa life of being their own defending themselves and doing the things kwa nguvu yao with their own strength ijapokuwa even though walikuwa wamepata vitu kwa neema ya Mungu they have received everything by the grace of God hiyo muda kapita that time passed kukakuya muda ya noa and then the time of noa came niko na kuzungumzia juu ya dispensation i am trying to tell you about time or season there are times that are divided hallelujah i'm starting from the beginning ili upate kuelewa kidogo so you can understand a little bit mafundisho na lomba muda because teaching requires time na lomba masiku It requires you. You can't understand everything at once. Because we have to start from Genesis. Basta tufike kwa hii verse to the chapter ya John. Verse of John. Uiwe nini yenye litendeka? So you so you may understand what happened. So you know that every season has its own time. And then the time of Noah came. Ilikuwa nao ni muda. It was also a time. Na muda nayo ya Noah. And the time of Noah. Watu wakaishi kisi walivyotaka. People lived however they were how they wanted. Wakaoa wakiolewa. They got married and they married. wakicheza. They drunk and they were Baka dancing. Kisi, It got to the point. Furiko ilikuja. And they were covered by water. Na wale watu wakapita. And those people passed as well. That was their time. Ikafika muda wa Abraham. He got to a time of Abraham. Mungu akamuita. God called him. Akamwambia toka. He told him to go. Get out of your family. Sababu nataka kufanya kitu kipya. Because I want to do something new. Pamoja na wewe. With you. Toka katika jamaa. Leave your family. Toka katika tabia. Leave your character. Toka mahali unapoishi. Leave where you live in destruction so that I may do new things with you Abraham 
obeyed God Akatoka. and he left Na unajua and we all know what happened that time passed kwa with, with what he did wrong yes, kwa kwa with, with what if Abraham did wrong taifa. he took the nation ya mungu of God utuma. in slavery unajua kama Abraham do we know that Abraham is the one who brought slavery did you know that? A person who brought slavery to, slavery to, Israel, to Israelites is Abraham. Our father in faith. He did wrong. He disobeyed God. Listen very carefully. Be careful with disobeying God. As a parent, as a leader, be careful with disobeying God because you bring the thing to your family or to a group that you're leading. Abraham failed to obey God and then he pulled the Israelites after he passed he pushed them into slavery and that slavery did not start with being but it started with eating and living a good life a person may start with just in well in America but you bring the nation into slavery hallelujah amen they entered during Joshua they were attacked with hunger they, they were obligated to follow their brother Joseph in the country of Egypt Pharaoh took them he gave them a place a place to stay and drink they were happy but those who were among them those who were behind them in their generation in the generation a mother may eat but in her children there is already a curse Amen when they were having a good time they gave birth to children after 400 years suffering started again Pharaoh passed the one who knew Joseph and another Pharaoh came who knew nothing about Joseph and he put them into slavery and at that time God had to raise one person and who did he raise? he raised Moses and then he used him to take his, his nation out of slavery and after 400 years he was not a joke. He took generations. He told them to. Them Why? Because of love. I'm trying to tell you about seasons or time. So you may understand that the value of the time you're living. And then Moses took the Israelites and he left with them. And in that time of Moses passed, another time of prophets came. The prophets started working with God. They worked. They prophesied. They talked. They bring messages that Jesus they said that a man will come with a bottle of which you have been captured in. And that slavery it was not slavery of being tried. But the slavery that people were in is a slavery of sin. Hallelujah. Amen. There's two types of slavery. You may be a slave to the government and you'll be fine. Everybody will see you. The way you're being uh, prisoned and how they're using you. They'll see you are a prisoner.
But it's worse when you are a prisoner to sin. Because a slave to sin may shower and dress well and they put on necklaces and then they drive cars. They may have houses and people may say this person have a good life. Hallelujah. Amen. Everybody may see. They say this person is good. These are the people that we came to follow in the world. Because the eyes of a human being does not see. He only see it only sees on the outside. It cannot see on the inside. You may see a person just well. They're walking, they're walking with pride. They're walking with praises. They have their car keys. They even greet you with their car keys in their hands. You say this person has a good life. But spiritually, that person is a slave or a prisoner. He's a prisoner to sin. And then a time came where a prophet prophesied that a, a savior will come. He will save us from, from slavery. And that brought a lot of problems to the Israelites. Because when the Israelites were being attacked with, by Romans, the Israelites were being attacked by Romans. They had to wait deliverance of God to help them like how Moses for, for God to kick out the Romans and for the Israelites to lead again. They waited for that king in that way. And then when the king came which Moses spoke about he changed everything. He came to save a person from sin. He did not come to save a prisoner from the government. Amen. And then he started to say, he said in the book of John 10, that those who came before me, those who came before me, are thieves. Hallelujah. Amen. Those who came before Christ, he said, all those, those who came before me, Christ, were, were thieves. They're killers. Moses is a killer. Elijah was a killer. This is where Jesus started. You will say, wonder, who did Moses kill? Who did he steal from? Read the word. When I was here in the pulpit, I told you, you will know the truth. And the truth will set you free. You will know the truth. And the truth will set you free. Moses called three young men who, who rebelled against him. Dade. Dade. Kore. Kore. And Abiram. He put them in ambush. He captured them. He put them in, in an ambush. And they were killed. Moses brought a law that whoever will be sick or have certain disease or leprosy will want to sit with this person. That's how bad he was. That's how bad he was. Whoever that has leprosy, he won't sit with us. Any woman that has her problem, that was a sign of or symbol of cancer. Anyone who has cancer won't sit with us. We have to isolate them and kick them out. That's how bad Moses was. The Moses you pray to. Even in your prayers, you say, The God of Moses. 
Utajua kweli. You will know the truth. Na kweli utakufanya kuwa. And the truth will set you free. Maana hata ndani ya mama omi, Because even in your prayers. Umbaka, in the prayers that we pray. kufanya others. We have to be very careful. The time has come. This is the time of Jesus Christ. What is this saying? Those who came before me, they're thieves. And they're killers. Are you going to pray the name of a killer's God? Of a God of a killer? Understand the time or season. The season that we're living in is the season of Christ. You should not use anyone's name other than Christ. Don't copy people's prayers. They just take any behavior from the road. They tell you this is my time or my season. All of those who came before me, who came before Christ, people like David, people like Solomon, they killed people and took people's wives. But you see a person naming themselves David. They just think of the good things that they did. They forget of all of the evil things that they did. Stop taking any names. Stay with your name is if it's a tribal name. When God called me, I heard it in my voice. He called me with my, by my name. Modera. He did not call me the names that everybody else uses. God gave all of my children the Bible. Biblical names. Because even I like the names. <laughs> but when God called me, He called me by my tribal name. This is a pulpit. We say the things that we know and we hear of. Be careful. When you're being baptized and you change your name. When a person starts going in a church, they change their name. That's not where the problem is at. Uh, the name has no problem with you. Because the name they named you when you were born is the name that God knows. And the parent that God that you gave birth to you, may God bless you. Because they did the effort of giving birth to you. Amen. And then Jesus said, This is my time. He started saying, There are three things that Jesus said. The first thing is, John chapter 10, verse 2. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen and be careful. What is Jesus saying? The one who enters through the gate is the shepherd. Hallelujah. Amen. Mlango the gate is a place that that a builder made it an entrance. And the one who enters through the door respects is the one who respects the one who built the house. And this is a very big point that Jesus is teaching the church. That be careful and not enter through the windows. There are people that entered into the work of God. 
without going through the gate. And when you do not respect the gate, it means Accusing in front of God, if they accuse you in front of God, 
death will come to you. Hallelujah. Amen. What am I trying to say? Protect your Christianity. Do your best to stay in the presence of God. So when they brought this woman to Jesus and they said to him, we are allowed to stone her. Old people, people from back in the days used to hate women a lot. Women. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Just wonder where they put that man to. Where is he? They left the man, but they just took the woman. They said, We have to stone her in front of Jesus. Amen. But Jesus, because he's a savior, he saved that woman. What did he say? He said, let the one who has never sinned before be the first one to stone her. Everybody looked over their lives and they found that they were not worthy to stone her. And that is what the church lacks. People do not want to look over their own lives. You take the time to look into other people's lives. You take the time to look over people's lives. But you don't look at yourself. You may find yourself to be in the church physically, but spiritually you're not. And when Jesus comes back, you won't have room. Hallelujah. When Jesus comes back with, and you don't know how to repent or fix yourself and you don't know where you went wrong you'll be surprised and you were always here at church and the pastors saw you they support you they say this person is always here at church this person is always at practices and that's a problem. Hallelujah. Amen. And then Jesus saved that woman. He said, and those who accused her, they knew what they did wrong as well, and they left. But when she stayed with Jesus, Jesus taught her a word. He told her, don't go back to your wrongdoings. We teach you the word every day. But we do not see any change. There's no change. There's no change. Prophecy comes. You don't change. Jesus will come. And you'll stay because you didn't change. You'll stay because you do not desire to change. The church which you desire to change. Jesus said to this woman, Do not go back to your old behavior. Go into the world. Live your life. But not in the same way you were living it in the past. A change should be a big part of a Christian. We shouldn't look like the worldly people. Some people are Christians only when we have gathered together. But when we go our own separate ways, they start doing their own things. Those who drink beer, those who take other people's wives and husbands, those who gossip with the things they don't even know about. Those, they call each other on their phones, talking about other people in this church. May God help us. May God strengthen us so that we may change. When prophecy comes, it comes with the word of God. Be very careful. Humble yourself. Take out pride. Remove your pride. Be obedient. If, if you do not want to obey your parents, that's fine. But if you do not obey God, you have failed. Amen. 
We have to learn how to obey yes, God. Kamsukuma. Jesus pushed her into the world and he told her do not sin again and in this theme there's three points and the first one is a gate Amen. this gate is saying very important things that the church the church that Jesus Christ is the head you have to learn and check where you went through even in your marriage there's some marriages that started through the windows we have to fix that Hallelujah. Amen. We still have time. Even though you went through the windows in your marriage, just know that you were wrong. Hallelujah. Amen. Be patient. And follow all of the process that God will, that God's will for your life. The church is here. For those who went into the world, for those who went into their marriage, through the window, they should repent or fix them so that they may be blessed because there's blessing that goes with your marriage. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. May God help us. There's blessing that goes with your marriage. Some marriages is full of suffering. Some things are like the truth. You do something with your husband. But everything is just a mess. Try to see whether you went through the window or the gate in your marriage. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And this is another gate that we should talk about for the sake of our children who are preparing themselves to get married so they may be saved from the windows. Hallelujah. So they may be saved from putting themselves into marriage before the time. It's a problem. And it will close your blessing. We're going to read in the book of John 10, verse 7. It says, Therefore Jesus said again, Very truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. Amen. Hallelujah. Here is, he said first, Mulango. the gate Kwa to go through. Kuna yule kwa for you to go through the gate, there is a gate I'm talking about verse 7. He's saying that mulango. he is the gate. Hallelujah. Amen. Hakuna There's no other gate that is good for you than Jesus Christ. For those who came before him, all of the shepherds who came before him, they made themselves to be shepherds. But Jesus Christ is the true gate. And it requires for that door for you to enter into that door so that your life may have a good life. Hallelujah. Amen. You have to go through that gate for you to have Jesus Christ because he's the gate. Some, sometimes we have a hard time doing certain things because you don't have Jesus Christ 100%. Some people they have Christ only when we're in church. But when we leave the church, they forget all about him. They don't even have that connection with him. Anymore. Like that day, we asked so, people who were standing, people don't pray for their food. 
even your food. If you forget to pray for your food, are you going to pray to Christ? How we love food so much. If you see pizza, you just eat and eat. When you see the meat, you eat. Whatever you see, you eat. Without even praying for it. You see where the problem is. We're not joking here. When the word comes, he has intentions. Some people, some people's lives are ruined because of food. They invite them somewhere. They eat however they want to. They eat in a way of disrespect. And that cuts, cuts off the connection. They call you on a table of people who are respected. You get to that table, you take that, you take this and that. You just tell them everything. And the person that invited you just stares at you. Because some eyes speak. You may see that a person is looking over there, but they're actually looking at you. And they say this person is not a respected person. Food. Food put a lot of people in trouble. There's some food that is offered to demons. Hallelujah. Amen. Some food is food that, that has been done rituals on. So that it may be sold. They sell it with medicine, with the dark. Dark so that the business will, may move forward. They do rituals so that their business may be fast. So don't be surprised when you eat. You fail to pray. You just, you're full of the food and you go to sleep. They have already captured you through the food. Be careful. When they tell you to pray for your food, it's, it, there's some teaching in that. Don't be surprised. Seeing that you're failing to do the work of God. Maybe there's something that you ate and it made you weak. You should pray for your food. Praying for your food is very nice. And Jesus Christ said, I am the gate. He is the gate. When, whenever you like something, just say in the name of Jesus. Even your prayers. This is something I say. But I didn't bring explanation. The prayers that we pray. Some prayers that we pray in the wrong way. We just say God of Abraham. God of Jacob. God of Isaac. God of the disciples. We just ask in the wrong way. Amen. Some people say praying for too long is that's the prayers that are being accepted. You start naming all of the old people just so you can take some time. They think that they're praying or their prayers are being accepted. It's ignorance. It's ignorance. You know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Because when you pray, don't bring all of those old names. The one that we have in our in our time. The time that the disciples desired to know. They knowledge themselves. They studied so they may know this time. But they had no revelation. It was not their time. It's our time. It's the time of Jesus Christ. When you pray, don't try to find gates in the name of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, David, Elijah, Solomon. Yes. Yes, you may say yesterday you were their God. Because God is the God of those who are alive and not the God of the dead. God is not in need of those who have already died. They're being 
If you go in Israel, they'll show you their tombs. tombs. They're sleeping. Why are you calling their God? Call your God because He's the one we need. Don't say the God of Abraham. You may say, God, you are God of Abraham yesterday. And you are the God of Isaac. And you are the God of Jacob. And you are my God today. And may you be known to be my God. And in the name of Jesus, who is the gate? Amen. May God help us. He said, those who came before me, they were killers. They were thieves. And their time has passed. I am changing everything. The story, he started to change the law. A woman who's bleeding, come forward. She came into the church. The first is said, eh? What is this man bringing? What is this? This woman should not be with us here. He's walking. A person with leprosy. Come forward. Moses used to keep that person out. out. You cannot live with people. But Jesus said, you come. We move forward. Time has changed. It's not the time to just pray anyhow. That is why we reduce miracles. We don't see miracles anymore because of our own thoughts. The thoughts that are heavy. Long prayers. We call people to pray. They run away. They say you pray for people. You started to stay in the church. What do you be saying anyway? We make things long by ourselves. Only that if we understand Jesus, that's enough. It's enough. If a person leaves this building knowing that Christ is the gate and they hold on to that gate and they keep that gate in their heart, nothing will be impossible. Hallelujah. Nothing will be possible. But we leave in the end. And then we go to Ibrahim. I am the gate. I am the gate. The one who wants to see the Father. He has to go through me. Hallelujah. Amen. He has to go through Jesus. Everything is possible. And then he went to the house of Lazarus. He found him dead. After four days. Lazarus may stop your blessing. Be careful with the person. People love Jesus, love their parents more than Jesus. People love their children more than Jesus. They love their wives more than Jesus. They may end up being someone someone else's wife. They may end up being someone else's husband. And you didn't do what you could have done with God. And then you love that man more than God. Amen. He got into the house. Martha and Mary. They started to Alicia also. Her brothers already died. They couldn't do anything anymore. It had already been four days since they died. They forgot that. That they found of the life. He asked them, Where did you put him? Let's go. They went. Brother, choose the right friend. Jesus. Jesus went to the cemetery. He was so surprised. At the cemetery, there was a lot of them. But he only went to his friend. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Go and speak to Jesus. Speak Jesus' friend. Put down my shackles and my delirium. And you see how your life has changed. Speak Jesus' friend. And you see change in your life. Speak Jesus. Be a friend to Jesus. And you see change at your work. Hallelujah. 
listen to me. The good shepherd who will protect you even in the world. When you go from point B to point C, he is your guider and your shepherd. When you sleep, he is there to protect you. He is the good shepherd. We just walk in his office. But the one who protects you is Jesus Christ. He says, I am the good shepherd. And when he says, I am the shepherd, it means there are some false shepherds. Hallelujah. Amen. There's some shepherds who are false. Who do not care for the sheep. Jesus cares for me. And I'm declaring this to you. He is your shepherd. Do you accept him? Do you accept Jesus to be a shepherd? Do you accept him to be a shepherd? Mungu wa kubariki. May God bless you. Anasema, he says, he is the shepherd. The shepherd who lies down his life for the sheep. He is the one who gave up his life for us. It's Jesus Christ only. The one who gave himself for you and for me is Jesus Christ only. And today we have life. It's because he gave up himself. And may God be blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We're going to pray. If you, if, you, if you want to be prayed for, come so we can pray together. So we may save time. If you want us to pray together, stand up where you are so we can pray. Because our time is we have five minutes only to pray. Singers, singers, Ambazo tunataka kuomba Mungu pamoja. Kama unajisikia kuomba Kama unajisikia If you feel like praying Unaweza sogea You may come forward Unaweza sogea You may come forward Ili tu kupeleke mwepo ya mlango So that we may put Sababu mlango yupo wazi Because the gate is open Mlango ko
ambao uko wazufu mke kwenye maisha yao wanaukaribia na wanataka kuingia ndani kuna vizuizo ambavyo fulani fulani vinashimama ngambo yao wanakamata hatua hii na determination yote ya kwamba intervention celeste fanyizike kwa jina la Yesu Kristo tutaomba pia na kwa mgonjwa mtoto wetu ambaye ni mgonjwa Mungu amsaidi kijana wetu ambaye ni mgonjwa kilio hiyo uikamate kuwa yako lia lia mbele za Yesu Kristo mwambie baba nahitaji kuona mkono wako kwa kijana huyo muokoe hakuna kisichowezekana kama Lazaro alifufuka itakuwa je kwa wewe mwenyangali hai inawezekana isiyowezekana kwa mwanadamu kwa Mungu yote inawezekana tuombe kwa jina la Yesu ndio bwana maana asante na asante mtakatifu mara irukondo mara ibasha kwenu nisaidie wairo kule mara urukame urukabazi kwani sina jawe sina jawe ni sina rikodeye mwami mara bo muda cha mwire bo mwami mara ngo ni kusuma kaifai ya mwire sina jawe so kristo mara urukia ya mwamba ya mwami kodeye wana chuka dini chewe sina sawa na ukoni ya mwami zozicha
ambayo unatendaka zaidi ya ile ambayo sisi tunaona kwa jina la Yesu amen amen tunaomba yule kijana wamlete hapa au watumishi wa mguse wamlete yule kijana wamlete hapa watumishi wa mguse na wale wengine wagonjwa waje watumishi wa mguse kabla yule anaponya sikia uzaifu akuje tumombe abagwaye abagwaye tafsiri wagonjwa Wana tunawainua wajakazi wako mikononi mwako ambaye ni wazaifu katika afya zao katika jina la Yesu Kristo umetuambia kwa jina hili tutakemea mapepo leo yataondoka umetuambia kwa jina lako Yesu tutaombea wagonjwa nao watapokea afya ya mwili wao katika jina la Yesu Kristo kila hali yote nikisumbua afya yake tunaiamuru kunyamaza kimya na kuondoka katika uzima wake katika jina la Yesu Kristo wana wa Mungu aliye hai kila changamoto zote za magonjwa na usaifu ambao umeinuka ndani ya afya yake tunaoamuru kunyamaza kimya tunaoamuru kuondoka ndani ya maisha yako ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo wana wa Mungu aliye hai kwa afya ya mwili wako katika jina la Yesu kila chochote kinachotatiza afya ya jina la Yesu kwa jina la Yesu Kristo tunakiamuru kuachilia tunakiamuru kuachilia tunakiamuru kuachilia tunakiweka ije na mwili wake tunakiweka ije na afya yake katika jina la Yesu Kristo
wetu sumu wa maisha ya kijana huyu katika jina la Yesu Kristo wana wa Mungu wali hai na wali katika ufahamu wake achilie ya shetani achilie ya shetani achilie ya shetani katika jina la Yesu Kristo wana wa Mungu wali hai tunaamuru tena afya yake kurudi kwa amani na kurudi kwa salama katika jina la Yesu tunaamuru Ambatana na Yesu. Aleluya. Ibi inasema, akawafanya wengine kama wachungaji. Aleluya. Lakini mchungaji mwema na baki ni ye. Usinye kanisani njia inosendi. Usinye kanisani njia mute yote fulani. Lakini kuja kanisani njia Yesu Christo. Maana mtu wakipungukiwa utabaku kisimama imana. Sababu nasimama na Yesu. Aleluya. Jabu na pili endi ya mulangu. Mwana Yesu asifiwa. Tafakari ulipita wapi? Think about where you went or passed you. Aleluya. Uingie katika mlango wa kweli. Go to the true gate. Ambao ni Yesu Kristo. Jesus Christ. Jambo la 3 na 4 nikukumbusha. Who can remind me the 30 the 
third thing. What did he finish with? Verse 23. Hallelujah. He's the only one who gave up his life for you. He's the one who should hold on to. We shouldn't let go of him. Yes, we have seen him with our own eyes. 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 Iyo tunamini kwamba Mungu wetu wewe uko pamoja nasi na malipoti tunapokwenda wewe ni pamoja nasi. Ndio sababu tunakuhitaji ututangulie katika njia zote utakazoipitia Bwana wewe utangulie sisi tukifuata na jeshi la mbingu likituzunguka. Tunapofika manyumbani utulinde Bwana. Hadi utakaporudi katika malako tena tukutukuze mtakatifu. Nehema ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo ni upendo wa Mungu Baba na ushirika wa Roho Mtakatifu. Wende na kila mmoja wetu sasa na hata milele. Amen. Salam 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 salimia wenzako msalimie wageni wetu.